morning everybody and welcome back to another Sumi Shares video guys with me on a beautiful morning. Thank you guys so much for clicking into my link and for joining me today. I am just absolutely over the moon. I'm so excited guys. Thank you so much for being here. Hashtag team all blade. Hashtag no blade left behind guys. Sumi squad goals. If you're brand new and you're like, what is going on? Come on in, guys. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. Grab yourself a comfy chair and will it on in. I'm so excited, guys. Today, we've got a beautiful shave planned, scheduled, and ahead of us. Thanks to my buddy over at Mountain Hair Shaving, guys. We're using something I've never experienced before, ever. So come with me. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be shaving with the Razor Rock Hawk, guys. The Razor Rock Hawk stainless steel v3 open comb base plate razor and i am so excited to be using this and showcasing it on channel with you guys today who has seen this razor in the shave of the days guys i'm wondering yourself how does that thing work how does it feel on the dome how does it shave when we compare it to other razors right in the de category look at the difference in size here guys how many of you have seen this and said to yourselves hmm I wonder how that is going to feel on the face. Is it clumsy? Is it a little bit awkward? Look at the blade size, guys. We're going to be rocking it on the dome. I'm absolutely thrilled, guys. It's going to be awesome. Grab yourself a bowl of Lucky Charms. Dip the marshmallows only going because I have a feeling this is going to be a shape of shapes. I don't know for sure, but we're going to be using, ready for this, the Schick P30s, guys. These are blades that I have heard and uh, only seen in forums as being the best AC razor blades available. I don't know. Usually I reach for these ones, guys. They're readily available on Amazon, right? These are the Kai Captain Pinks. I really like these. They're very, very comfortable on the skin. But today we're going to be doing something that's new. And thanks to Jeremy over at Mountain Hair Shaving, we're going to be doing something that's all new, guys. Yes, we're going to be using new blades, new razor. And guys, I mean, come on. Just take a look for one moment at how gorgeous. Oh, I can't get over it. I just kept looking at it this morning. I'm like, wow, it really is beautiful. It looks so high end, looks so premium, and at a price point that I think most people won't completely flinch at, right? When I told my wife, she's like, oh. I thought it'd be more than that. And I think that's a, that kind of the number that we're looking for when we're looking at shed gears. Oh, I thought it would be more than that because of how pretty it is versus how much you're paying. Really cool razor. I'm really excited to see how it does on the dome, guys. Today, we're going to be rocking. You ready for this? 345 flannel shirt from my buddy. This is a sample of the 345 scent, guys. Uh, I don't have the full puck. Jeremy sent me a sample. It's beautiful. It smells to me like dryer sheets. And I really like that smell. And my wife says she really thinks it's a very nice clean smell. I have it la um, lathered up, guys, and already whipped up in my um, Symmetric Pottery Bowl with my Smog Owners Club Brush, guys. Really nice brush for the money. I think it's 40 bucks on Amazon when I bought it, and the brush has held up awesome, and it's a boar brush, which I really like. You guys can see here, oh, 345, guys, has been doing work for me when it comes to lather. You guys see this? This is 345. I get really dense, really hydrated, very slick lathers, and I'm not doing anything that you guys wouldn't just do on a regular basis to get this lather. This is very easy to get and very, very, very nice on the skin. And I'm telling you guys, I've not used the 345 uh, flannel shirt. Today's my first time with it. And it smells so good. Very, very nice, clean scent. Um, it does smell like laundry day. To me, guys, it smells like laundry day, and I don't know of a better day to use uh, laundry day than today, right? On a Razor Rock hot shave. And my um, buddy Jeremy, again, Mountain Hair Shaving, sent me the sample. So huge shout out and thanks to him for that. I'm really excited. We're gonna go on top of that beautiful scent with um, Outdoorsman's Friend. This is a very, very nice um, lemon scent, guys. It smells, it has the, um, like all essential oils and stuff. It smells kind of like bug spray. I'm just gonna straight up say it. it smells a little like a high-end, nice, uh, kind of inviting version of a bug spray, right? Due to the citra, I'm not gonna say it, the citra something, it has a really nice um, lemony scent to me. Clean, goes really well with dryer sheets, so that's what we're doing. I'm really excited, yes guys, and I did, I did see that PAA just did release again, the Outdoorsman Friend. It's a summer scent that he usually, uh, sometimes will release on, in summers, and it's out again. So why not grab it, and we're gonna pair it with summer uh, with the 345 flannel shirt, and go from there. Guys, let's go get the blade loaded, I'll show you how it disassembles and kind of what we're looking at and then we'll get a shave Here it is guys the beautiful razor rock hawk with the open comb base plate take a look guys oh, i'm so excited to be showcasing this stunning example of uh, the italian barbers razor rock hawk guys 
Wow, what a beauty. This V3 Razor Rock Hawk is equipped with their barbershop pole handle. And take a look at that handle, guys. Watch as I um, twist the handle. Watch that knurling just go with it. Look at that spiralized um, part of the knurling, guys. See that spiralized. Oh, look at how pretty that knurling is. Absolutely beautiful. And I love that they've added that little portion below. That kind of reminds me of the twist portion on the... You know, the um, British aristocrats and things like that, guys, where they have the knob underneath and you can see the line. Like, you know, kind of like the um, the uh, rocket uh, razors, guys, that have the twist knob. Really pretty, just like those British aristocrats. Oh, guys, look at this. Yes! And we're going to be using this today with some um, blades that Jeremy has so nicely, kindly offered and allowed me to borrow one. The Schick P30s, guys. I'm just so excited. Keep in mind, this is a razor that is set, uh, is at like their medium level aggressive. It's not their base, and it's not their most aggressive, right? They have a standard, then they have their open comb, then they have their A, which is aggressive. This is their second level, and it's that open comb. I am just so thrilled, so excited. And today we're going to be using it in this setup, guys which is just over 90 grams. The head cap is 28 with the base plate. And then the handle is right at that 66, 67 grams. So combined, you know, about 90, 94, 95 ish grams. My scale is not perfectly accurate. And today, even though the razor is not what they consider to be uh, absolute mirror, you know, mirror jewelry finish polish, guys, you can see it's really nice. I think this is right in the sweet spot of like right before it's perfectly mirrored. You can still see your mirror finish. You can still see your reflection, guys. But it's not like crisp, you know what I mean? Kind of is like if you've been drinking all night long. Kind of has like that drunk vision, a version of uh, a mirror. And I think that's really nice because then it doesn't attract fingerprints nearly as much. Absolutely beautiful. And Razor Rock does mention that the razor is not jewelry level, right? You can go one step beyond if you really wanted to and polish it. I wouldn't. I would keep it just like this. Absolutely stunning. You can see it says Razor Rock right there. Everything about this just feels very nice, very high end. And it's a price that I think is fairly affordable, guys. It is in that like $65, $69, up to $75. You can get the titanium handle, I think, for $79 bucks with the um, Razor Rock uh, head, which is just crazy to me. Crazy to me. I think that's really affordable. For the AC razors, guys, if you go in and you start looking at AC razors, most of them are about 200 bucks. Like they start in that range. And so this is really a cool, I think a, the, the place that most people end their AC razor journey is right here. And I think it's the reason why is it really is awesome. And I think it really does, um, work for the price range and i'm really excited i've never used a hawk so this is my first time using it the way it loads you guys can see is the blades sit just like that right on the little nubs very easy and then we're going to just assemble it like a three-piece razor with the head cap on top and we have to be really very careful because we don't want to cut ourselves but there you go it goes right on to the little nubs you can see blade exposure looks pretty decent i'm going to double check here the blade is um, lined up correctly Plenty of oil on these blades, guys. Plenty of oil on the P30s, I'm noticing. Just double checking exposure. This is something I do in all my razors, guys. I know I'm not subi stacking here, but I just double check that everything seems to be tight and flush. We're going to throw on a little spacer to protect Jeremy's razor, because this is not mine, guys. Again, this is Jeremy's. Throw in a little spacer to protect that finish and tighten down the barbershop hole handle. Very easy. I'm going to grab a, a towel. I like to do it like this, guys. Um, personally, I like to grab a towel and just tighten things up. Um, protects my fingers a little bit more. This has a considerable amount of exposure, okay? When we're looking at this, you guys can see there's that fine line above the blade, right? Above that blade edge. That, for me, with an AC razor, is going to be a fair amount of exposure, guys. And when you have the amount of gap that's underneath the blade, this definitely looks to me like an aggressive uh, aggressive AC razor. For me, I know that when I use the Hawk or use the Durham razors, guys, I tend to back off the blade so you can barely see that line above the blade edge because AC, uh, AC blades tend to be very effective and very um, efficient. But let's go find out how it feels on the skin. Boom, guys, welcome back. I hope that's entertaining, hope that's exciting, hope that's interesting, right? This right here is straight up break me off a piece of this absolutely beautiful Skittletastic razor, guys. I am so excited to be using it. You know what I mean? This is like leave all the marshmallows in the bowl. Guys, wow, I'm just so excited. One of those really pretty razors, and guys, I did not pre-lather my head for a reason. I wanted you guys to see the lather going on with the 345. I just, I'm really proud of the um, actual lather that I got out of today's 
Um, so it's really nice. Keep in mind, I'm using the Cremo Shave Cream as a pre-shave here. Just wipe it a little bit on, guys. Helps me get a little bit extra residual slickness because on the Subi Shaves channel, guys, we are slickness snobs. We're using that Hendrix towel, which I just really like. Thanks again to my buddy, Mike. Huge shout out to Mike for sending me those towels. Really like them. And we're going right on, guys, with that beautiful. And it's been sitting. It's been sitting. It just still looks like this, guys. Looks like this all day long. You know what I mean? This 345 really has some beautiful scents and some great performance. I have read um, several times, right, that people pick that, um, pick that soap up, um, the 345 flannel, and just end up going wild. Just end up having to buy several tubs of it. And I can see why. Really, I just look at this. Look how nutty this is. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And I know I am not the pro lather of, of the world, right? There's many people out there. They get better lathers than me, but wow, what a nice, nice smell, guys. Oh, Fruit Loops all day long in this mug, man. Wow, really nice, really good. Very happy with today's turnout. And that um, board brush really does release the lather very well for me, very easily. I'm enjoying this thoroughly, guys. Oh, and I'm so excited to see how the open comb does. If you guys are sitting here and you're like, Oh my goodness, Subi, what is going on? You have too much stubble. I'm at 60 hours, guys. I have so much stubble. The last couple days, I've been booked. I've been slammed. I'm actually going to content that I had pre-filmed. Sadly, guys, it, I had to do it sadly because I've been scheduling myself and going through and preparing for the lather games. On Reddit, they do a challenge. There's a wet shaving blog. It's kind of like a forum of wet shavers, and every year they do the um, lather games, right? It is a wet shaving contest, and it's got schedules and challenges every single day. And I'm going to be filming them on channel, so keep in mind that may affect some of our shaves, but all of them will be themed. All of them will have goals, and I've already been purchasing and going through the... Um, going through my like uh, schedule to see what I need to pick up, guys. It's been wild, it has been crazy, um, and I think Maggard's is loving it. Honestly, guys, I think Maggard's is like cha-ching, 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 because there's a lot of stuff I didn't have, and I'm really excited to show you guys on channel. So we got stuff that coming, um, and wife did approve of this, guys, because we are competing, we're gonna get ranked. That's our goal, we are ranking out this year. So far, it looks like we have almost everything to do, a, like a high, like, high performance for us and it really do our best. So I'm excited and guys, I'm just pumped. I am so excited. So I'm hoping this open comb can get through all of this 60 hours of nonsense. Let's do it. All right, first and foremost, there is blade fill that is available for days. This is my first swipe ever right there guys. First swipe with the Hawk ever on, on the skin. I can say it definitely has a bit of blade fill. It is smooth. I am not doing any pressing. It is very comfortable on the skin. Huh, interesting. I'm getting great performance here, guys. You can see I'm getting decent amounts of performance. When you compare that to the Kai Pinks, I think they feel a little less tuggy on the first swipe, but I'm not positive here. Really smooth, very, very smooth shaver. Um, very easy to find the blade angle. I don't think the open comb for me is all like too aggressive. I don't think this is wild on my skin. Wow, very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Oh, I don't want to lose that, guys. I don't want, I, you guys got to see this. Take a look at this. What do you think? You can see because of the open comb, guys, the way that the stubble is running through the lather channel, right through that, that bar. You can see how it's running through the bar into the backside. Really cool. There's a nasty mess on uh, in my sink right now guys nasty mess really comfortable i thought that the head cap was going to be too heavy for me with the handle with the 68 gram or 69 66 gram handle guys i really thought it was going to be too much and that i wasn't going to love the handle and i'd want a uh, lighter handle but i think the handle is actually really nice and complements the razor and i end up holding the razor right here if you guys can see this right where that knob would be that little indent's very smooth, very easy to use. Wow, you guys can see it took the lather clean off very comfortably, and what a pass. Good night, Nelly Nurse. That is what, what, that's what you want, guys. That is what you want when it comes to an AC razor right there. I actually think this is maybe a marginally more comfortable, and I have a hard time saying this because I haven't tried these blades 
in my Claymore, but I think that may be marginally, sm like marginally smoother than my Claymore even. This is very smooth. One thing I get on this versus the Claymore is I can actually fill the blade a bit more. I can get a little bit more blade on the skin. I can fill a little bit better. I don't know. This is very nice, guys. This is, honestly, I'm not worried about it cutting me. Where the Claymore, I was a little apprehensive of after uh, having some run-ins with uh, Nyx, right? This is really nice. I'm actually using a pretty fairly... Um, so I was using a steep angle and now I've gone to a more uh, shallow angle and the shallow angle is money. It is smooth for days. Guys, like I said, 60 hours of growth coming right off, zero problems, zero chatter, right? These are very thick blades. AC razors are very, very thick blades. And I wanted to show you guys how that looks on, this, on the dome when you're shaving with these bigger, larger artist club style blades that were really meant for shave. That's originally, right? Very, very nice shaver, but you do kind of have to learn um, how to get around some of the areas, like right here, right? When you're shaving around your ear, I have to be kind of cognizant of the larger blade so you don't go right up against the ear the whole time, you know? A little bit, it takes a little bit more practice, a little more finesse to master the head, the, the fill of the, uh, the razor on the dome shave, but once you figure out all the angles for the larger blade, what you end up with is having to do less swipes ideally, right? Less swipes because the blade is larger, it covers more surface area. So you don't have as much overlap and the blades are extraordinarily efficient. These P30s are extremely comfortable. Guys, holy moly, Tana, what the mother? These guys are really sweet, really nice. I, I have nothing but positive comments on this one, guys. Wow. The against the grain pass, man, with this thing is a monster. I can just feel it mowing it down. It just, it, it, it's funny to me when you get these razors where you can just feel that against the grain pass doing work. There's some razors out there when you do the against the grain, you're like, I don't really know if it's even any better than the with the grain or across the grain. This one, you know, you can feel it, guys. It is blade fill, blade forward, and it definitely has some bite to it. But with that, it gives you a very accurate shave right very accurate which i love i love having some accuracy oh i am jealous i'm not gonna lie to you this is still in the wish list for me anybody feels extra generous this is still in the wish list for me oh wow guys what a shave i actually think i may have to sell like one of my other like you know razors to pick one of these up that is really nice i would love to fill the standard plate you know the first plate and see how it compares to the open comb the open comb is not sharp on the skin guys which i really appreciate i may have got myself a little bit i am not positive nope we're good it wasn't positive it is a still a very efficient razor guys very very efficient definitely has some blade fill to it and like i said rocking that 68 66 whatever it is hours of growth it's been too long. Oh, it feels really nice being able to get to that BBS level again. I am just absolutely thrilled. Again, one of those razors that I you do not want to do any pressing. You do want to just let the razor do all the work. And it is extraordinarily comfortable. I know that they mention on their webpage blades that they appreciate and blades that they don't recommend. I am a person that really likes those more mild razors in the... Um, AC styled blades or AC styled um, safety razors. Oh, and I really think this is, it shines. It really does shine guys. Wow. Go ahead, get out of here, man. Woo! What a shave. My sink is, it looks like it's been through World War III. It is covered in stubble. There's been casualties and it is comfortable guys. It is conquered. The dome is mastered and it is really smooth. I mean, beautiful shave. Very, very comfortable shave. Really comfortable. And the um, grip from the handle is insane. The grip from this handle is so good. Maybe one of the best handles I have felt ever. Really comfortable. Holy moly, guys. Wow. Talk about a hot mama right here. This is nice. Smooth as a crystal ball, guys. I love when you can go in like this and just do a little bit of cleanup 
Oh, it is effective and it is smooth. I really get a lot of smoothness with this razor. That's very nice. I just, smoothness with AC blades is critical for me, right? Because the feathers for me are not very smooth. These are really smooth, really nice, very comfortable, very, very comfortable on the skin, guys. Wow. I love that. I think that's gravy. Honestly, I that is a head shave that you could really, really, really enjoy. I think anybody would love that. That is awesome. What in the... Yeah, it's smooth, guys. I have no stubble anywhere. Beautiful shave. Look, you can't even see like where that um, stubble line would be. We are shiny, guys. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Razor Rock coming through. Guys, We it only took us a few minutes, right? Few minutes, like 10 minutes or something, eight minutes to do the full dome shave. And it was fast and wild, guys, wildly comfortable. We're splashing on, we're going crazy with the citra, citra cruya, citra, whatever, the, whatever they put in that uh, to make it smell like lemon. Ooh! Guys, I am not a scent scientist, but I'm telling you the pairing between 345 flannel and this has me just feeling so smooth. Oh, I feel clean. I feel and smell. Kind of like a lemony dryer sheet. I love that, guys. Such a nice combination. Hope this was entertaining. Hope this was exciting for you guys. I really enjoyed today. This is one that I, I, I'm keeping on the wish list, guys. Wow, what a cool razor. And if you're curious, you can purchase just the top piece, which I may do, you know, because money. <laughs> because of money, but that is awesome, guys. What a great shaver. And I just, again, I can't say enough thanks to Jeremy. And thanks for you guys for being here and for the support. Three away, guys. Last I checked, we're just a couple away from 700. So thank you, guys. And if you haven't, go below, click that sub button, give me a thumb, and let me know you enjoyed the content. I just really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in the next Subi Shaves video. Subi out.